talking about men and women, and I want to broaden it, not just athletics, but in general. But we saw a video, uh, John McEnroe basically said that Serena Williams is hands down the best female tennis player in the world, but she wouldn't even finish in the top 700 against the men. I'm pretty sure that that number is a little overinflated because there are 700 professional tennis players out there. But you get where he's saying, where he's going with it, what he's saying. How much of it do you agree with? How much of it is to sell a book? And uh, how much of it do you not agree with? Ring in the top. It was all for the book. That was just his way of getting a PR tour. Nothing more, nothing less. Because for one, there's not 700 tennis players. Two, tennis and golf are probably the most even sport in bowling to where your gender doesn't matter. So for him to make that comment was real asinine, but he had a book to say. Let's break it down. Golf. How many women can hit it four to five hundred yards off the tee? Most dudes ain't doing that. I know, but in order we're just talking about in order to be the best. Well, see, that's the thing. That's where you make the mistake. And that sport, the best ain't the best all the time. Yeah, he was the top dude for a good run, but the game didn't change since then. That shit changed like you change socks. That's why a lot of them old schoolers faded out once the new age came in. It gets the game gets faster and better. As he mentioned, tennis is a young person's sport in the first place. Yeah, and if Serena played in his era, she will kill all of them. If she was healthy or she could play in this era, she would fare very well. How much now, Venus, how much Venus might was struggle. How much tennis but, did you watch? Because I'm going to put you on that. Roger Federer is cold. Right now, current player. Not going back in the day. Roger Federer is cold. There isn't anybody on this planet, Williams included, that he can't beat. I never said she couldn't be beat. I'm saying she could hold her own. The one guy giving give that she got being physical will benefit benefit her against the guys. So like when it comes to golf, there's a few females that are physical. They may can't put work shit, but they probably can drive. And every golfer don't have the drive capability. If you can hit a consistent 275, 300, you'll be able to hold your own. And that really ain't hard to do. We've been to the drive range and hit a couple for over 200 and we fucking suck <laughs> so if you're a professional and you're training so he end of the day you gotta ask yourself who is McEnroe no one knows cause there hasn't been a big top male player in tennis the Williams sisters have kind of backed off from tennis in the Olympics so he has no pedigree no nothing Roger Federer is the current big time player in tennis but how many people care about that? That's what you're missing. People how many care? Watch people that watch tennis. How many care? No one. Roger Federer ain't selling no apple. He ain't selling no shoes. He ain't selling nothing. So no one cares. Into the Nike website. See, no one cares. Here's the thing. If Roger Federer walked past you right now, you wouldn't even know who he is. And that's what that's the point I'm making. No, that's the point where I'm making to counter your point. Those of us who have watched tennis, who follow tennis, I would know him off the street. And that's about 10 of y'all. The point I'm making is tennis has went down. It's not a sport, just like golf. Golf has went down because there's no no dominant athlete that people want to see. And so for McEnroe to get any attention, because he's probably the top five commentator, but no one cares because no one watches. It's so much competition on TV now. If you don't already have a strong base, it's just not going to happen. And that's where he had to say some outlandish shit to get attention to where he would have never been on the the morning show on CBS had he not made that asinine comment. The best he would have did was it would have been the Tennis Channel or ESPN or something. He wasn't about to be on no tour. He wasn't going to no Barnes and Nobles, nothing like that. He had to say something to get fire in his book. I bet you, you read the book. It probably ain't nothing. That's why he's like, oh, Serena, she's, she's being tongue-in-cheek like I was. Now he's trying to backpedal because he know him and Serena supposedly are like this. And you threw her up against the wall. 
when you know she probably could beat you in your best day. I mean, it's it's sad what people do to, to, to try to make money and sell stuff. But you know, you gotta keep food on the table because as tennis shrinks, we don't need these high-priced accommodators. We'll get someone else.